God wants you to have an intimate personal relationship with Him through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's His ultimate purpose for creating you. And as we discussed during the message, you can be a Christian and still not have a close relationship with God. Intimacy depends upon total openness and surrender to Him. And today's letter is from a man who wants a more intimate relationship with God, but he's not sure how to do it. So Steve asked, how do you submit yourself to God fully? How do I have a personal relationship with Him? I would like to begin a strong relationship with Him. Please help me. Well, Steve, let me just say this. There's a verse of Scripture in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, that talks about this very issue. Paul said, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God to present your bodies, that's your total being, a living and holy sacrifice which is acceptable to God. Well, first of all, if you want that kind of relationship, it's a choice you make. It isn't something that just happens. Many people have been a Christian a long time and have no intimacy with God whatsoever. It is a definite choice you make when you say in this email, I want to have a personal relationship, an intimate relationship with Him. It is a choice that you're making. You must want to do it. It must be a desire that is strong because there are many things working against that in your life. You say, well, how do I do that? In your strength, you cannot. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. And remember this, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit in order to enable you and me, first of all, to live a godly life, to work in us and through us. And so we have Him to help us with our want, with our desire, with our commitment, with our choice. And so He will enable us as we strive and as we attempt with all of our heart to deal with the things in life that have kept us from having that personal intimate relationship. Then the Word of God is so very important because here is where you discover what it means and how to live that godly life. As you get instruction, for example, from the Lord Jesus and from the Apostle Paul, as you read day after day meditating upon the Word of God and in prayer, asking God to show you, to give you guidance and direction. And what you'll find is this. You'll find that He begins to just clean out things in your life that do not belong there. And the emphasis of your life changes. The interest of your life changes. And guess what happens? The way that develops is daily as we read God's Word, we examine what's going on in our life. Does this fit? Does this fit? Is this drawing me closer? Is this pulling me away? And so it is a process that you go through. It's not going to happen all at once, but it can be absolutely definite when you say, God, so work in my life that I can have a personal, intimate relationship with you. The cleansing is going to be the first thing that begins to happen. Your interest changes. God begins to draw you into a relationship with Him. And before long, you'll realize something has really happened in my life. Well, that's all the time we have on In Touch this week, and we're glad you joined us. I trust that the Holy Spirit will draw you into a deeper, more intimate relationship with Jesus throughout 2010. Today's message was the beginning of our in-depth study of the 30 Life Principles. We'll continue next week with Life Principle 2. It's one that you're probably very familiar with, and that is obey God and leave all the consequences to Him. That's the only way to enjoy life at its very best.